Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Tashani Gregory here with PowerfulSigma.com. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about four things that hijab has done for me. So, let's get to the video. So, number one, hijab has helped me mind my music. So, I grew up in the arts, so that singing, dancing, acting, it was dance, you got ballet, jazz, tap, African, capoeira, even though, you know, that's kind of a mix between dance and martial arts. Anyway, it's beside the point. The point is, music was a huge, huge, huge part of my life. And so I was wearing hijab one day. I was driving down the street, I had my Jay-Z on, I liked my music loud, it had to be loud, especially if it had a good beat, and so I'm driving down the street, got my music up loud, and I was just kind of sitting there like, this, this doesn't look right, this doesn't look right, it's just, it's weird, okay, you got the hijab on, and then you got Jay-Z with his, all his obscenities, and you know what I mean, just, just, it didn't feel right. So, I, I cut it down. Um, you know, and I kind of drove by listening to my music, but it was down low, which was aggravating because I needed my music high, so eventually I just cut it off. But, um, anyway, it helped me to mind my music because, to me, for me, I didn't feel right. I didn't feel like it connected um it just didn't look right so nowadays i listen to more audio books i've loved i've always loved to read and i i'm able to get my reading in when i listen to my audio books so i listen to more audio books and lectures and youtube with uh, people talking about blogging and business and all that other kind of stuff and music has really been sort of phased out um i have my times where i really really want to listen to music Music is haram. We're not supposed to be listening to music. Um, but it's definitely a work in, it's definitely a work in progress. I definitely, I go a very, very long time without listening to it. And every now and then it kind of peaks in where I want to listen to it. So, we're all working on it. But um, at the beginning, it at least helped me to turn it down. Like, get this together. Number two, it helps me with my road rage because your girl has got some road rage because it's always when you're running late and then you've got people in front of you that want to go the speed limit and it's just like, do you have to follow the rules right now? Like right now. Like while I have somewhere to be in five minutes, even though it's 25 minutes away, you decide you want to go to speed limit. I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. And I did a lot of yelling and a lot of blowing the horns. Okay. So it has helped me with my road rage because having a hijab on and being ridiculous and yelling obscenities out the window, just, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. So just, if you have a rage, it's not worth it. Take a deep breath. Do things on time, okay? And then we don't have to be in that, you know, mindset. There we go. That's the word. And that leads me to number three, which it helped me check my manners. Now, generally speaking, I'm a pretty mild-mannered um, individual, generally pretty level-headed, unless I'm in the car and you're slow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we got a problem. But generally speaking, um, pretty calm, cool, collective kind of, um, person. But it made me be even more focused on how I was acting in public. Um, because in Islam only, like, seriously in Islam only people choose to attack the faith instead of the person um, and I'm not saying that there's nobody that attacks Christianity when Christians do wrong 
But I'm saying that, like, you generally see people attack Islam when Muslims do wrong as opposed to Christianity when Christians do wrong. Like, they attack the person. But in Islam, they attack the religion. So I think that, you know, that's not our fault, you know, but I think that we have to be mindful of that. And as Muslims, we wear our faith on our bodies. So we can't be out in public cussing people out talking all loud on the phone about you know drama going on at home like we just have to have some high you know we come on come on I, stuff i see on facebook i'd be like does she does she really put that on facebook like does she think we needed to know that like seriously people come on so it made me um mind my manners even more so than um before and the last one is number four which is it made me check my clothing so when i first became muslim um i just really made sure that my clothing wasn't too tight that was pretty much my main focus at first um because you know leggings and hijab you know probably doesn't mix since if you wear leggings, they don't really care about how your hair looks. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. So, yeah. Um. So it made me mind my clothing, make sure that, you know, it wasn't too tight and you know just wasn't too over the top and too much. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to, all I have to say about that. Uh, I talked about my whole hijab journey in my last video so you know maybe i'll place it above there if i can if not i will leave the i will leave the link in the comment box where you can take a look at that video about my hijab story and kind of how i've progressed over this time i hope this video was helpful for you um leave a comment in the comment box and let me know that when you first started wearing hijab what did you notice that you sort of shied away from doing because you was wearing hijab, you know what I mean? Um, and until so next time, oh, go to PowerfulMuslimWay.com, sign up for the Queen Squad. And until so next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.